Good morning. It's drive time with Dave. I'm Dave. I'll be your driver. We're going to talk about not putting my arm in front of the camera lens. We're going to talk about four reasons you may be failing at selling online, selling in general. Sales 101. Selling. Reselling. Part of our motivational series. The success that we achieve in reselling isn't always about the reselling. It's the personal growth. It's understanding what it would take to be a successful sales person being successful at selling reselling again is it's all individual the the skill sets required is is a learned skill anybody can learn to be a good salesperson Four reasons that you could be holding you back. I've said before, the only person holding you back is you. CDCS. Okay? Right. CDCS is criticism. I can't even say the word defensiveness. <laughs> Contempt and stonewalling. Nothing glamorous about any of this. It takes time and energy and more time and more energy to fix the things about you that are holding you back. Whether you're an online reseller whether you're an employee, some type of laborer, whether you're a manager, whether you're top-level management. When you cannot grow personally, you will not achieve the level of success that you so much desire. If you do not desire any success, well then, I'm sure you are where you need to be today. If you want more, all the things that can possibly hold you back. Criticism. Constructive. Bad. Can you take it? Do you attempt to give it? Criticism isn't forgiving. Can you, can you take it? Good or bad? Could I tell you what I think? And you wouldn't have a problem? Or you will have a problem. Because I tell everybody what I think every day in my videos. And we see how many people have a problem. Your problem is not my problem. Your problem is you. I don't have those problems. Right? This isn't about money. You achieve success you become a fantastic reseller. You become a fantastic salesperson by understanding the differences in criticism, defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling. Contempt, defensiveness. Do you get defensive? Not only can you not accept the criticism, you reject it, you become defensive. you don't want to hear it. Contempt. They all go together, don't they? That's, that's right. They all go together. If you can't accept the criticism without being defensiveness, don't look down the end of your nose. Contempt. Because you think 
that someone doesn't know something or they do know something or you don't like what they're saying. Part of our great success is being able to see clearly right and wrong. Stonewalling. You you know, in, in, in this specific instance, someone emails you that they have a problem with their product, they want to return it, and you, you, you don't want to hear it. They didn't like the way it was packaged. It took too long to get to them. They criticize you. You become defensive. And then the contempt comes into play. Who, is, who are they? What do they know? And then you choose to not answer the email. Stonewalling. You see how it all goes together? These are the things that hold you back. They held me back for a long time. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to understand it. There are a lot of things that hold people back and these are four of them that would stop your personal growth. Being an online reseller is being able to go out and source and see clearly the items that would resell and be able to get home and do the work and get them online. That's only a small part of everything about us and what we do. You might want to take your success and your personal growth and you go become a, a salesperson for someone. Online reselling was a way to make extra money and then people managed to turn it into full-time incomes or they or they can't or full-time income is relative to your situation people don't always understand how to grow a successful business they don't they don't know all the pieces and they don't take the time to find out learn listen and they don't experience the personal growth required to achieve that success. Because no matter if you have a really good idea, you can have a great idea. And you can have a great line of products. You could, your brother-in-law's aunt's uncle's brother's nephew's cousin could have an in with some manufacturer that's getting you products for a dollar that you could sell for, you know, whatever. Every time I use that example, somebody wants to correct me. It's all about making money. It doesn't matter. It's about making a profit. <clears throat> Having access to great products does not make you a good people person. It, does, it would not make you a good manager. It will make you a dictator. History has proven dictatorships don't succeed for a very short time because you've got the guy you've got the in you've got the products you're making the money it doesn't make you a good person it doesn't make you a good boss it doesn't make you a good manager it doesn't do any of those things it doesn't make you good at material handling or processes inventory controls it doesn't make you good at accounting doesn't make you good at any of those things. You might be good at making money. To be good, you have to be well-rounded. And our lesson today is about being well-rounded. And we started with our first four incredibly negative attributes all of us have and it takes time to undo what you've spent a lifetime becoming getting defensive because someone wants to return something I'm not going to mince words because that's crazy and, and if I rejected the criticism that I received on a daily basis I wouldn't get very far Thumbing my nose at people. 
because they can't possibly know anything because I'm the one that's sourcing the products and I'm getting them listed and I'm making the money. <laughs> There's always somebody out there that's doing it a hundred times better than you. And you could always learn. And you could learn a lot. Stonewalling, it doesn't matter whether you're putting off a customer or you're putting off what you're what you should be doing today for tomorrow. I'm tired. I need to take a nap. I'm sick. When you work for yourself, there is no sick. There are no days off. Nobody owes you anything. The world, life, nothing. Nobody owes you a thing. You earn what you have. And if you don't have anything, today is the day you start earning it. Learning to earn it. The steps required, the steps necessary. So here we are. The beginning. There's a middle and there's never an end. You get started today, and then you work your way into it, and then it's never going to end. And the challenges that you're going to face on a daily basis are going to be overwhelming most of the time. And you learn to deal with it, because it's just the nature of the business. You face challenges at your job. You go to work. You, you deal with all kind of problems. Whatever it is that's going on. You deal with it and then at the, at the end of the day you clock out and you go home like it's over but it's not over you'll go back and you'll do it again tomorrow it's no different than what, what we do as resellers people get very very confused and this is why using the term reseller I stopped using it in most of my videos because you're, you're you have a small business you may be one person you're a small business owner you're taking the initiative to source products and put them out for sale and manage your inventory and do your bookkeeping. You're just a one-man operation, that's all. How you grow are the examples that I provide. How you grow personally, how you grow your business, what it's really going to take. You can't continue to have the single focus, the single mind you have to be able to look at a broader picture, have a higher level overview, understanding all markets, everything going on, the whole, everybody's sales are down, ah, come on, you know, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm in some Facebook group, and, and, and again, I said it the other day, and I say it again, oh, my, my sales are down, my sales are down, my sales are down, there's like 9,000 people in that group. Or 10,000 people or whatever it is. And everybody's sales are down. Out of more than 600,000 sellers. That's a big number. That's a lot of people selling on eBay. And they are not all part of that group. Filter out all the noise. And continue pushing forward. And you just keep pushing and working at it. And I'll say it again, it's not going to come overnight. It takes a lot of time. And people want, unfortunately, as a whole, people want immediate result, results. It's like, it's like weight loss. It's like you start trying to lose weight and you want to see immediate results. Not realizing that it took years for you to gain that weight. And when you decide that you're tired of it, you want it gone tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. When you decide that you want to start making money, you're not going to wake up and just start making money or have money. It's going to take time. I wish I had some magic answers, but I don't have any magic answers for anybody. I'm Dave, and this was Drive Time. I hope I've helped you. I'll see you soon.